Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to talk about my chemical peel experience today. So about two weeks ago, I went and got a chemical peel. Um, the place I went to is called Nancy's RX. The lady um, who does all the procedures, her name is Nancy. She's a small practice in Midtown. So I'll leave her links below. She's super um, informative and she's a really cool person just in general. So I'll put her information below if you're interested in going to get a chemical peel. I actually heard about her from another YouTuber named Kimberly Sherelle. I'll also put her in the description box because she has a great channel. Um, so she is kind of what inspired me to get a chemical peel. I have been doing a lot of research on how to lighten dark spots and so there's all these different ingredients like in chemicals, natural and um, artificial chemical I guess, that are known to lighten dark spots like kojic acids, lactic acids, glycolic acid, vitamin C, lemon juice, turmeric, so many things and so I have been kind of dabbling in a little bit of all of those before just in like face washes and masks and um, spot treatments and stuff like that and I did see some improvement as you can see in some of my videos in the video that I put before in the very beginning um, before I got in the chemical peel my spots did improve I guess and that was because of some of the things that I was using but it still wasn't to the point where I was happy or satisfied with the results. The peel that I got was called the Vitalize Peel. I'll read the description of the peel on her website. It says this popular peel improves tone, texture, and clarity of the skin. Also reduce or eliminate age spots, freckles, and hyperpigmentation including melasma. Soften lines and wrinkles helps clear acne skin conditions while reducing acne scars, encourages stimulation and the production of collagen for firmer, more youthful skin. I say that all these claims are true as far as what I was looking for. Um, I was looking for it to help with just my skin um, complexion and tone and texture overall, but then also to clear acne, um, acne my acne prone skin and um, hyperpigmentation. In the previous um, clips that I put before, you could see my acne scars um, on both cheeks and some of my forehead um, and now my chin were really dark and prominent and so that's something that I was very self-conscious about I was like it's one thing to have dark spots but they're so like obvious this was something that I was like I want to do for myself just to build more confidence and I'm ultimately so glad that I did it um, now I have so much more skin confidence, you guys. Like, I don't know if it's apparent. I hope it is apparent. Like, I'm sitting here wearing no makeup. This is for the second time in a row. Um, on the internet. And that's something I would have never done maybe six months ago. So I just want to praise God for that. For a period of time, I was like, I want all my spots gone. I want everything gone. I want straight, clear skin. But I don't think that that's, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but like, let's be realistic. I just think that. What do I think? I think that I'm okay. after this chemical peel experience, I feel like I'm okay with these results. Now I do want to get another one just to see what could happen. Um, so you have to wait three to six months to get the next chemical peel after your first one. Um, but even if that doesn't clear all my spots, I'm really happy with the way that it improved my skin tone and texture and how it lightened my spots. Um, I feel like I have more presentable skin. And whether that's true or not, I know that feeling is something I have not felt in so long, you guys. So I'm really happy with the results from my chemical peel. So basically what to expect when you're getting a chemical peel is that you get the peel put on and then about two days afterwards you start peeling. It usually starts around your mouth because that's where you're moving the most when you're talking. Um, and so mine started like on this side of my face and like around my mouth like you saw in the clips before. And 
Me with my dermatillomania self, I was like, okay, how am I not gonna like play with this and touch this and pick at it? Because she was like, don't peel the skin that's peeling off because it'll cause more hyperpigmentation. Just let it fall off naturally. Let it fall off naturally. When you wash your face, some will come off, but don't pull at it, don't pick at it. I was like, can I handle this task? Like, is this gonna be too much for me? And I was like, no, I cannot let myself get in the way of success. That's something, that's why I'm in this, pre like, in this problem in the first place. Like, I'm doing these things to myself, so let me stop. So you guys, I gave myself a good talking to. I sat on my hands. I did other things. I kept myself busy. I've slept. When you're sleeping, you don't touch your face. <laughs> um, and so, I didn't look in the mirror that often. Because if you don't really know what's happening, then you don't know to, like, touch it so I was just like on my computer a lot watching videos watching movies and my fit my skin was peeling and I didn't know so I feel like keeping myself busy really helped the way she put it on what she it was just it's a liquid solution and she I'll put the ingredients because I can't pronounce like these asses except for retin-a it's the only one I can say um so oh and lactic but I'll put them on the screen so you can see like what's in the vitalized peel and so she's what she swept it over my skin with like a little cosmetic brush like I was leaning back in a on like a spa table but like this way and I had a fan there was a light over my face um and it started to tingle it started to burn a little bit but it wasn't I was like I don't care how much it burns it's gonna work and I'm gonna be okay I'm a big girl now when you first get it done it makes your dark spots a little bit darker than they were I guess it's like concentrating on the melanin in that area um because it's getting ready to like take some of it off so I was like, why is it making my spots darker? Like, is this working backwards? But I realized that it just, as it tightens up, it just tightens around those areas even more. And so it, when it peels off, it kind of takes some of it with it. Um, so the first two days maybe after I got it done, my skin was like really clear. Um, and then when I started to go back in the sun more and just get back into my regular habits, I still wore sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every single day. But my spots, they did come back a little bit. Like you can see them, you can see them now. Um, but again, they were so much darker than this, you guys. Like I don't even care. Um, that's also why I decided to get the second one because like if they can lighten these lighter spots, if they can lighten these lighter spots, then like I'm all for it. Like that'll be great. I was also nervous that it would lighten my skin tone and it did not, I'm still the same color. You have to make sure that the people you go to are trained and working with brown skin. Um, even though Nancy is a white woman, she I saw her working with um, Kimberly Sherrill, as I mentioned before, who was black. Um, and so I was confident in her that I wouldn't have any issues like with discoloration or like putting the wrong things on my skin to like make me lighter because that's not what I was trying to do at all. Um, so I'm really satisfied with that. And so chemical peel is something you kind of have to plan for. Like you want to take off from your job, you want to take off like say people I can't hang out for this entire week, I'm going to be undergoing a procedure, I'll catch y'all later. I'm getting new skin for a week, see you on the flip side. Like that's just kind of something I had to do when I was getting my chemical peel. I'm mean, like a week of doing nothing, getting in touch with my, myself. I feel like that's also necessary in general, like a week to do nothing, get in touch with yourself. So you might as well make it the same week. I had a whole self-care week while I was peeling, it was great. Um, so that's another thing that I would suggest. But. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this video was somewhat informative, somewhat helpful. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more of my videos. Bye.